Hello, this is Gene Thorpe, Little Red Rooster TV. And what we're going to do today is change the speakers out in the Galleon Kruger Little 250 ML amplifier. Well, all right then, here we are. We're taking the uh, Galleon Kruger uh, 250 ML apart to change out the speakers with the new pile drivers that we have, the new six and a half inch speakers. And we've got many of the screws out of the top. I'm gonna kind of just show a picture of the of the screws right here. There they are, some of them. And we've got a, a certain number of them out of the top. And when you take them out of the top, what happens is you open up and you get to see the interior of the amplifier. As you look inside of the chassis, here's the whole view, but we're gonna come in close to two little uh, places. This place right here, this little unit right here, the uh, electronics that goes down to the transformer and one goes into the speakers. So there's a little um, lip along one side of the unit right down there that you kind of peel back and then this unit pulls off and you put it over to the side. Okay. I've turned the cabinet around a little bit so you can see the little lip down on the uh, one with the blue wires coming out. And I'm going to uh, take it out for us, hang on. The fingernail pulls the lip back and the little unit just unplugs and you put the wires out to the side. Okay. Once you have those wires out and out of the way, you go over to the one end and pull it off. Actually, it should have a little stickiness to it. That came off pretty well. And inside, you'll see the speakers. Now, once you have removed the screws along the back, the top, the electronics component should come off. As you can see, this component is the whole basic amplifier assembly and circuit board. Very interesting way to build it. A beautiful piece of work. The next thing that we've taken off is, or, or we're getting ready to take off, is the face. There are four screws along this edge and three along the top. And you slide that off. And the reason why you'll need to do that is because once it is off, you've just got to be able to um, hold these screws here tight while you take the, the uh, speakers out from the other side. The next portion that we took apart were these four screws here. And what that allows to happen is this component to separate from that component, thereby uh, exposing the speakers. These wires are still here. You've got a transformer here. Your on-off switch and plug-in for the electrical power is on that side, right there. There's your transformer, your plug-in, and etc. And the case for the speaker. So we're going to go ahead and change these speakers out. We're, we've got both speakers in, and uh, we're putting it back together, putting the case back together. We've soldered the speakers in and we're moving ahead putting her back together installing the grill over the speakers we've put the face back on the new speakers are in and it's time to go ahead and put the sides back on so we'll start with side number one okay we've got the one side on and we're gonna Get ready to put the amplifier section and the final side and hook up the wires. All right, speaker and transformer wires plugged back in. Side ready to go on. Okay, both sides on and we're ready to put the cap back on the top of the amplifier. We're gonna get that affixed and we're gonna go ahead and get started testing the unit. We've changed the speakers out 
and we've tested the amplifier and we've got another video for you to see while we run it through its paces. This is Gene Thorpe, Little River City TV, signing out. Thanks.